praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest. You are welcome to today's edition of Apostolic Church. I am Apostle Oluwa Tudi Akiola. By the special grace of God, I'm the senior pastor of the World Shakers International Christian Center at Duikit in Nigeria. Today, by the special grace of God, I'll be talking to you on the topic that says, Walk on your shape. Walk on your shape. Now, when I'm talking about shape in this context, I'm not referring to your physical shape. Maybe you have muscles, or you are muscular, you are slim, you are slender, you are lanky, you are plumpy, you are fat. You know, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm simply talking in the spiritual sense, or I'm speaking from the spiritual angle. So when I say work on your shape, it's actually an acronym that stands for spiritual gifts, hearts, abilities, personalities and your experiences so if anybody wants to uh, live long or you want to live well you want to enjoy your life you want to enjoy good health it's important that you work on your shape physically so in the same way to spiritually any man that wants to enjoy life any man that wants to fulfill god's purpose any man that wants to maximize his or potential must also work on his or shape in the spiritual angle now let's talk about the shape the letters that form the acronym shape that i'm talking to you about number one spiritual gifts work on your spiritual gifts i've come to discover that every man is spiritually gifted there is no ungifted man in life when god made you there are the gifts that is deposited inside of you the day you gave your life to christ and you got baptized in the holy spirit there were seeds of gifts that god deposited in you if the holy spirit is the distributor of spiritual gifts so if you have the spirit of god in your life you have been baptized with the holy spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues then there are gifts of the spirit that god has deposited inside of you now if you want to look at the lists of the gifts of the spirit you will find that list in first corinthians chapter 12. read the whole of first corinthians 12. it speaks about the gifts of the spirit when you go to romans 12 as well you will find the list of the gifts of the spirit in romans 12. so romans 12 and first corinthians 12 speaks extensively about the gifts of the Spirit. So take it for granted that every child of God has spiritual gifts that God has put inside of them. So it's left to you now to discover the gifts, to develop the gifts, and to maximize the gifts. That's how to keep yourself in shape. I pray God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Then number two, your heart. Your heart. Every man must work on his heart. The heart of a man is the CPU of his life. That means your heart is the central processing unit of your life. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23, say, guard your heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. So what are the kind of thoughts that you are allowing in your heart? What are the kind of imaginations that is going on in your heart? So what is actually going on in your heart? So your heart is the thermometer of your life. Your heart is the thermostat of your life. Proverbs 23, 7 says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So how is your heart? What is the state of your heart? This is what you should work on if you want to keep in shape. Now, God even deals with your heart more than your words. God even looks at your heart more than your works. So your heart carries more weight than even your acts. I pray God will help us to understand this better in the name of Jesus. Then your abilities. When I say abilities, it means your talents, your potential. Every man has talents, special gifts, special abilities that God has deposited inside of them. There is no untalented man. Every man has talents that God has put inside of him or her. Your own talent could be singing, your own talent could be writing, your own talent could be acting, your own talent could be relational. So there are different kinds of talents that God has put inside of every one of us. So when you discover your talents and you develop your talents and you deploy your talents, you are automatically working on your spiritual shape. I pray God will help us understand in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, your personalities, that's another thing, that's what the P stands for, your personalities. Now, what have you done with your personality? There are different kinds of personality that God has given to us. Some people have a choleric personality, some have a sanguine personality, some have a phlegmatic personality, some have a gentle personality, some are outspoken, some are introvert, some are extrovert. What is your personality? Have you taken time to discover your personality so that you can work on your personality so that it can help your spiritual life? I pray God will help us in the name of Jesus. And lastly, the E there stands for your experiences. What are the experiences that you have gone through in life? They could be negative, they could be positive. You can bring something out of the experiences you have gone through in life. So what are your experiences? What are the experiences you have had with God? What are the experiences you have had in the world? What are the experiences you have had in prayer? And what are the experiences you have had with man? Work on these experiences. There are certain things that you can bring out of these experiences that will make you a better person. So work on your shape. Once again, the S there stands for your spiritual gifts. The H there stands for your heart. The A there stands for your abilities or your talents. The P there stands for your personality. Why the E there stands for your experiences. I pray God will 
help us to have a better understanding of this in the mighty name of Jesus. So take a good look at these five. Work on them and you'll be a better person in all ramifications, most especially spiritually. So that's how far we'll be going on today's webcast. The next time I come here, we'll be having another wonderful time with ourselves. Till I see you again, I am Apostle Oluwa Tudia Akiola. I say God bless you. Keep waiting. Thank you.